Monday morning, and uh, I'm back. Yay! Did you miss I, me? I did miss you. Yes, you I did. I really did. I'm so glad you're back. But that was a well-deserved time. Was it a timeout, though? Because sometimes vacations with it kids was. are more like trips, not no, necessarily relaxation. No, no it, was, it was a vacation. Yeah? For sure, yeah. What a lot of relaxing. Uh, just uh, spend the time with the family. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Oh, we're getting right into the picks. Yeah, let's, let's do see. it. So I'm not sure where everything is. But yeah, so we were in Florida. Okay. Um, for one of my wife Stephanie's uh, work awards trips. So nice, congratulations we, to her. Oh, yeah, there's, I, there's at us at the uh, awards dinner. Wow, beautiful. At the Four Seasons. Oh, lovely, yes. fancy, Very fancy. Nice. Oh, Very you fancy. both look fantastic. Uh, another fantastic year for her. Um, I love the Mickey I, Waffles. I know, that was at so the much. Grand Floridian there at that oh, cafe. I love. Yeah. Oh, it's making so me want to go. So we took Bart and Karen with us um, so they could watch Ella during Stephanie's awards dinner. And then we took them over to the, to the place. So fun. Did they have the best time? They did. Did they your mom had, cry at all? She did. She cried because we got, you know, I don't know if they've done this since you've been there. They have uh, lightning lanes for the parades. Yeah. You knew that? Yeah. Yeah. So we're like front line for oh, inside on oh. a parade. So we were oh, like in a parade. Yeah, it was great. So that was one of the uh, best parts. Oh, look, they have matching shirts. That's so they cute. They did. They had matching shirts. I love it. Yeah. Did you all wear the same matching shirt? No. Look at that hottie patati. <laughs> yeah. Andy, she's growing up too fast. I know. I said, this will be the last year I take your picture like this in front of this fountain. Yeah, no kidding. Um, is that the Four Seasons? That is. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Well, little fountain there was the parade that's kind of Aww. that's where we were standing for one of the parades and we were wow. right in the middle on like the loop oh my like gosh the roundabout so that was cool <gasps> did like all the characters make direct eye contact direct and wave at you guys eye isn't contact. that the best yeah oh look two princesses snow white yes and she talks like a little baby yes she does that's yeah. kind of her thing <laughs> that's her thing and there's uh my cousin nick <gasps> Um, he lives in Orlando. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and um, that's his girlfriend, Kimberly, uh, right next to my mom. We hadn't had a chance to meet her yet, so wow. that was awesome. And uh, they have um, the the passes, like they're, uh, oh. they're the real deal. Yes. But um, his girlfriend, Kimberly, she's born and raised in Orlando. Oh, nice. So she knows uh, every little thing. She knows all the ins she and outs and secrets. So it was nice to get to see them, and they were just, because they have the annual pass, they just go into Epcot to walk around and hang out. Which I think I would do if I lived there. I would too. My sister-in-law lives there and they do it all the time. Like they're at Disney yeah. more than they're at work. Oh, look how beautiful. Yeah. And this was <gasps> the Tron ride I was telling you about. Oh my gosh. And this is Stephanie and Ella. That I was is in the amazing. Front. I was, I was in a, no one, no one rode next to me, luckily. Cause usually I'm with some stranger. Oh yeah. Yeah. <gasps> um, but yeah, so that was the picture of the Tron. So you're like sitting on a motorcycle? Yeah. That's amazing. And then uh, here's the family. Oh, that's a great picture. Magic Kingdom. I can't believe you got your dad to wear a matching shirt. He bought that, and you know where he didn't even get that like at Disney. He bought it at Disney Springs at uh, what's that one store? Uh, Uniloke. What is that? I have no idea what you're just speaking you know? of. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uniqlo. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. So he like didn't even get a real Disney shirt. It's a oh, that's hilarious. Knockoff Disney shirt. It counts. It's exhausting just looking through those pictures. I know you've got to be tired. I am tired. Yes, I am tired. We got back. When did yesterday. you get back? Oh, we got yeah. back yesterday, and um, yeah, some of us got back yesterday. <laughs> oh, Bart and Karen had such a good time. They decided they to did. stay. They did. They did. They're gonna come back though. Uh, they're on their way back. Um, so that's what I've been up to, if that didn't look expensive and fun. Uh, what have you it been up to? It did look really expensive. <laughs> Super fun, but man, yeah, you get yeah. what you pay for. But uh, yeah, glad to be back. Yeah, well good. Uh, you missed a week of every possible season. Okay. Last week we had snow, we had sun, we had everything in between. Uh, we had the kickoff for the Fairy Festival. Oh, oh wait, nice. But my week was insane. Okay, tell me about it. Well, I got to be here two mornings in a row, which was just, you know, like, one more thing. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I did not think I was going to make it Tuesday. Here? And yes. Well, back to just back in is not your specialty. Just in general. <laughs> just in general. But anyway, um, at least once a week, we um, treat ourselves to ordering ahead and getting breakfast at... Um, uh, Daily Grind. Daily Grind. You and the gals? And Food Pub. Yep, me and my daughters. Yes. And I call ahead and they know exactly what we want and they have it ready when I get there. Who doesn't want to start their day 
with these beautiful smiles. And I have to tell you, you know how I feel about their breakfast burrito. You love it. And they cut it just so, so I can eat it in the car and mm -hmm. dip it in the sauces. It's perfect. <laughs> but um, if I can't re recommend it enough. And it's yeah. a big, um, what it, like you know how I feel about mom hacks. Like, hey, you forgot your lunch? That's okay, call, they'll make it. Yep. Send it with the kids. That's right. Um, everybody's having kind of a lousy morning call, get breakfast ready. They have beautiful muffins and rolls and all kinds of things. Um, Katie loves their breakfast sandwich, loves their chai tea. I love their iced How tea. How far away from the window were you when you took that picture? Well, you know, I drive that bus and yeah. I'm still always so worried I'm going to hit something. So I, I was a little, I was a little back. But um, the fairy festival happened yeah. over the weekend and uh, the brokerage house crew got to go down cool. and help decorate for the VIP lounge. That was really fun. Awesome. I appreciated their efforts. But you know what I really appreciated? was those superstars that work there. It was just phenomenal. Yeah, we're gonna Everything look at, was set up so beautifully. We're gonna look, look through some uh, fairy festival pictures later on. This is yes. the front seat of, uh, of your uh, bus. This is like the front seat of my executive office. That's, <laughs> <This> ooh, <laughs> yeah, if you ever need a gift for anyone, just, and you see Jennifer, yeah. just knock, knock on her window, she'll have something yeah, for that anyone. Or anything. I mean, yeah. it's like the MacGyver car. Yeah. I could survive in there for a year. <laughs> but anyway, um, do not forget that this weekend, Sunday, is um, tea and totes for the Jackson YMCA. Um, and this is an example. This is um, Jennifer Scanlon's fa summer favorites oh. bag. You'll notice that we've got a Stanley tumbler that was on back order that What's came just the, in the nick what of time. Is, why is the Stanley one? This, that has to be the Stanley. Because some but, child on TikTok made some video and literally every mom and every teen daughter at that I do not have one I was the only one every other teen mom no every other teen <laughs> dancer and mom had one of those but anyway there probably were some teen moms there but yes. that's neither here nor there but this is just an example of some of the totes that you can bid on um, to benefit the YMCA and I'm telling you right now Call and get a table. Cool. Call your mom, your aunt, your grandma, your best friend. Make it an awesome girls' day and kind of a pre-Mother's um, Day gift. I promise you, all your mothers, all the women in your life want is you. They want time with you. So what a cool uh, event to take them to. Yeah, Mother's Day is Sunday the 14th. Yes, yeah. two weeks. So yeah. uh, start making your plans for that now. Yes. Uh, golf happened over the weekend. The spring thaw at Cascades <laughs> took place and uh, it was cold, rainy and wet. It was more like wet. a soggy. Yeah, but uh, that's the way it always goes. But Connor Spencer won, won by four shots nice. over Brian Kuhn. And, uh, Lumen Christie grad and he attends, I believe, Grand Valley. So congratulations on uh, your first major local win, Connor. Awesome. Yeah, congratulations. Awesome uh, winning in those ridiculous uh, conditions. Ooh. I see he's wearing a lion's hat. Yeah, he is wearing a lion's How'd hat. How'd you feel about the lion's I don't know. Draft I, was, I was in the middle of a function Brandon, during the draft. How do you feel about I it? I trust home, Brad Holmes. Yeah? I trust Brandon. It was a surprise, but I trust him. Okay. Okay. All I, right. I trust Brandon and uh, Adam and whatever the guys say here. Okay. So, you know. It is what it is. The draft's going to be here next year. I know. Isn't that exciting? That's very exciting. Yeah. Very, very exciting. Hey, today's show is brought to you by Sonneborn Orthodontics. Over 30 years as Jackson's most trusted orthodontist. Um, you know, graduations are coming up. I've been getting some mail, uh, some invitations yeah. to some parties. And I wanted to show you one that I got Let's recently see. from from David Rice. <gasps> Oh my, I, I did not get one. Well, Jennifer, you got oh, one. Oh, yay! Okay, I won't show. So, is this his senior picture? I don't know. And he did it with this JTV logo wear on? That is the coolest so thing I'm, ever. So, I'm hiding the address? Yeah. Just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, uh, yeah, so we're excited. David <laughs> is graduating, and David started here the year he graduated the eighth grade. So, oh we're gosh. excited to, uh, to celebrate. Did he really? Pretty much, yeah. I cannot wait to be able to say I knew him when. Yeah, I'm already saying that now. You so. know? Graduation party. So uh, do you think you'll have a lot to go to? Do you do you guys get a lot? Okay, they kind of come in lulls. Yeah, last year was intense. Mm -hmm. Intense. Like 13. Oh, wow. That's yeah, this year I think just one or two and then it'll ramp yeah. up again. How, do you, how much money do you give? It all depends. If it's all family, yeah. cha-ching. Yeah. If it's, you know, close friend, yeah. mm, mm, ching. Yeah. And, then, and then if it's not like, a $10 bill? No, no, but I graduated in 1993 and several people wrote out checks for $19.93, which really? in 1993, that was 20 bucks. That was a lot of money. That was good money, But yeah. you couldn't do that now. Like, I couldn't write a check for 
$20.23. No, the kids be, would probably be like, you'd be a cheapskate. Rip it up. You'd be a cheapskate. Uh, you've got some, uh, well, you had some dance pictures this weekend, too. Oh, my God. Dude, how do I look? Uh, you were not dancing. I'm tired. I know, but dance. I am not a good dance mom. What's that all. like? Tell me. We tell me in, what the day is like. What time insane. do you get up? Four a.m. Uh, five. Ugh. Um, we were in Belding, which, since nobody knows where that is, is just outside of Grand Rapids, cute little town on the river. But um, everybody knows my dear friend's daughter, kind of our second, da third daughter, Natalie. Uh, her and Katie do dance together. Katie did get first in her age group and sixth overall. Awesome, congrats. Yep, in contemporary. And Natalie did a beautiful contemporary dance as well. And this is McKenna, and I wanted to highlight her. She's a senior dancer, but she also choreographed Katie's dance. Cool. And did such a beautiful job and had beautiful performances herself last night. But it's exhausting. You want to know how exhausting? How? Check this out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, that was kid. after Saturday, I think. And then the next one is after Sunday. Sure. I know. I mean, That's how like, you know she's really tired. And I showed her this video. She's like, what am I doing with my hand? I'm like, I don't know, but you were out. Like, I was full on having a conversation Look, with that her. house is for sale. I see that. It's kind of like recognizance wow, work. Wow, how about that? But, um, yeah, but we survived in um, Monroe Street Theater out of Brooklyn. Good. Did a great job representing Good. for the On Point. So. Good. Well, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad that you can tour the state watching young dancers. Very nice. And now track. And track and soccer, field. And soccer. And yeah. we're kind of like going across the mountain. Yeah, doing good, doing good things. Um, ORS had their Family Service and Children's yes. Aid run over the weekend. And uh, yeah, how was the weather when this happened? So this was Saturday morning. What was the weather like Saturday morning? First thing in the morning, it was, it was wet and dark. It, it did get beautiful Saturday afternoon, yeah. but I think it had to have been a little chilly. They're all in shorts, though. Oh, yeah. Another great turnout. Nice. I love it. we got to get you signed up for one of these. There's Mike McGlynn. I uh, love his, him. Uh, Allison's his daughter is your uh, hairdresser. Hairdresser, yeah. Yes. And Mike, uh, legendary runner in town, yes. and of course put on many uh, put on many races as a race race director. Is this how you run with your phone in your hand? No, no phone, no, no. phone, no phone, nothing in hands. That's how I run. Ah! Oh, I'm sure uh, I'm sure Chelsea's gonna love that if we show that. Great job, though. Look at her nails. That's amazing. She's awesome. And there's Jasper Gett in the background. Yes. He, he is an overachiever. He is. Oh, look at Melissa. So excited for that little one to come in. Very cool. So fun. Uh, you know, I've had so many people comment um, what a great community we have, period. And, yeah. and everybody knows it now, thanks to JTV sharing it with the world. But this running series is really unique. There yeah. are much larger communities that don't they have don't. such yeah, a great resource. Right. I met a woman last week. Her name is Cheryl Crowley. And I wanted to say good morning. She's a huge fan. She I loves know, you, Cheryl. Annie. Yeah? Hi, Cheryl. Yeah. Good morning. Thanks for watching. Where did you meet Cheryl at? I met her at City View Lofts really? in Jackson. We were just touring. Just girl touring. Chat. Hmm. Girl chatting. That? Girl yes. chatting. Yeah. Um, something kind of exciting for you and I today. Okay. We are going to our Queen's School. Our kids happen to go to the same school, and we are going to go to the school today, Monday morning show on the road. Yes. And Talk to the kids. Yeah. I'm very excited. You're going to talk to your daughter's class. I'm going to talk to my daughter's class. And then we're just going to see what the kids say. Yeah, I'm excited for that too. I remember years ago your dad doing it. Oh, and yeah. I always got a kick out of it. So I'm excited to do that. But I'm really excited for you because your time at Queens is fleeting. Oh, I know. I know. Sorry to I know. And, um, you know, we're going to talk to the principal. Yes. Who was my fifth grade teacher. Now, 30 I years ago this year that's nuts actually i was in sixth grade 30 years ago this year yeah yeah because i'll be how old am i no fifth grade yeah it was fifth grade yeah. okay well she um there was some talk about a detention i got right? a detention on my on my birthday in fifth grade from her yes ma'am for fooling around were you, you know? like on a sugar buzz or something for no, your birthday it's, treat? It's stuff that they let the kids get away with nowadays. You know, I wasn't doing that. Hey, Liz crazy. runs a pretty tight ship over there so still. I'm sure I deserved it. I'm sure I deserved it. So, um, hey, let's get out to that sky cam and check what uh, current conditions look like for hometown heating, cooling, and more. Now that it looks is a mild nice. 42 degrees out. 40, yeah. High of 42 today and tomorrow. 80% chance of rain today um, but we promise summer is coming you see they're doing that bridge work there yeah um, and hopefully no trucks will drive underneath it and hit it anymore once they uh, they fix it those are some of my favorite pictures though the bridge picks mm -hmm. 
Because you guys can hear it when it happens, can't you? <laughs> I kind of run down and take a look at it. Yeah. Uh, over the weekend, Lim and Christie dedicated their new baseball field named named Dunnigan Field. And uh, they had a big day out there. The I believe it was the Bishop's Cup where they it had was. a lot going on. Of course, weather was crummy, so it wasn't the... Uh, baseball, soccer, and softball, yeah. right? Did you go out there at all? No, because I was in Grand Rapids. But I think yeah. Kerwin and Claire went. Nice. There's the... Uh, Baseball field, new baseball field. It's a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous facility, and they uh, dedicated that to nice. um, Joe and uh, Miriam Dunnigan. And how many kids supporters. did they have? Uh, Twelve kids. And they all sent them through. Sent all of them. Yeah, through Joe Catholic was on schools. the original committee that uh, you know laid the groundwork and, and built the school. So there you can see it right there, so Dunnigan cool. Field. Nice. So very cool. And they very were cool. both. Was it St. Mary's graduates? St. Mary's. That right? Yep. Yeah, very cool. Beautiful field. Beautiful. We All right, hey, let's get to some fairy festival pictures. Yes. Let's do oh, that. Yes, Here's yes, some yes. From the uh, great event at Jackson School of the Arts, thanks to Sarah Scaife for taking these great photos. She's everywhere, she too. She is awesome. Man, we have she's a, wonderful. We really have a wonderful team here at uh, JTV. Oh, look how sweet. So this fairy festival has turned into a, just a two-day extravaganza. It is. Did you know it's really their their one and only, their big one-and-done yeah. fundraiser? And did you also know that what that equates to is $11,000 a month in scholarships? Yes. To make sure that any kids that want to take classes there can. Yeah. Sherry Good, the executive director, did a fantastic job. She's, she is a fairy. You know, just a fairy She's princess. Great for that. Great for... Uh, it's a great uh, job for her. She yes. does a wonderful job. I was over there. Phil Tripp and Noah and I were over there the mm. other day taking a tour uh, with Sherry. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. Nice. Um, the daycare they have there is so yes. cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Another uh, uh, great asset here in Jackson County. Yes. And uh, downtown Jackson. Yeah, that facility is Isn't top it of the notch. We were trying to decorate, and we were not allowed to use tape or push pins. Oh, what did you do? <gasps> I mean, MacGyver. Yeah. We used paper clips and fish line and all kinds of creative things. This is things. kind of like the stuff I did at Disney World. <laughs> so you, yeah. A lot of that. You yeah. Know? Waiting in line for uh, to see princesses. Yes, right? this is true. Waiting in line. It's worth it though. There's it something is. magical there about is. it. It's so, oh, so, so fun. very cool. For more uh, photos from the fairy festival, check out our website, jtv.tv. Let's uh, let's get into let's get into the show. Yeah. Let's just get let's, into it right now. It. Okay, we've got a great show happening. Uh, we're going to get things started with the founder of Grow Jackson, Jacob Innocencio, right after this quick break.